to see a whole lot of pressure because that's what UNLV does, and that's what they do as well as anybody in the country. Right away, tremendous effort. You look at his stats, he's shooting half the number of free throws this season than last. That's his knee. Now the corner three ball. Gary tried to lob it inside, tipped back to him. And looking for help, finds it in Philip McDonald. He'll try for three and a good sign for the low conference. So Philip McDonald making that first one really helps. There's Willis. He'll launch from deep. And the form is right now, UNLV knocked them both down. Well, the issue for the Rebels the last two games, they've gotten good looks, just not been able to make the shots. Held to 22 points in the first half, both against Air Force and Colorado State. The last time out, the Belfield strapping on the floor to steal it. That was a great double team in the low post. Obviously, UNLV is going to double. Last year, Willis had a number of 30 points. He was a prolific scorer. That, his legs look good. That last one, very strong right now. There's no reason why this New Mexico team shouldn't be a good offensive team. Willis left alone and buries another. Prasad. Cameron Bears go in for the Lobos. Gary decides to take it himself. Let's see how they attack this zone. You want to get it to the foul line area where Masam is right there is where you're going to... You have to get the ball to that area and it'll lead to a shot somewhere. Willis with a wild kick out, but it worked. Belfield things have happened at the end of games. Talked about what transpired between these teams with a one-pointer. Wild back and forth down the stretch this year. Steve Alford got rid of that zone. He didn't like the shots that UNLV was working to get against the zone. Jasper trying to back his man down. Another electric pass on the end. Getting his hand on the ball. Well, can the Lobos find the range again? They've missed seven of their last eight field goal attempts. Kirk lobbed to Gordon. Nice setup and finish. Left here in the shot clock for the Rebels. Gordon on Belfield here. And he's waving off a defender trying to get free. Instead, it's Jasper. Nice pull up. Final minute here, first half, and the steal from Belfield cruising in for the dunk. Great steal right there, you know. And the nine giveaways for New Mexico. Wow. Cruising in. By Oscar Belfield. Fenn gets a little careless, tries to cross over. All he does is stick his hand down where the crossover was going and pokes it away. Very nice on the ball defender, Oscar Belfield. Four or four from the floor to start and then just made six of their next 20. And that's a good sign. There. And Thomas able to save it out front for the Rebels. Willis, who had 13, but sat for a while in the front for the 10th quarter. How about Willis is pitching a perfect game right now, Steve? Six of six shooting, including three threes. At the other end, has 13 to lead the Lobo. Thomas, pull up, rimmed out. Rebound by Stanback. Working the offensive glass. Missed everything with the shot. But Thomas there to tuck that you know, for the Lobos, but gave it right back to Marshall. Willis feeling it. Why not? Double digit advantage of the game for either team. Seven straight points here by the visitors. And a chance for more off the turnover. Marshall, no on the right. Him open. Enough space. Missed that one. His first miss of the night. But Thomas turns it into two. Willis badgered by Gary. And dumps it inside of Asamba. He'll turn, use the glass record. It tied the record here at the pit that's held by a handful of players, including a guy. Jasper trying to blow past Hardiman. Willis catch and shoot three. Yes, again. Able to save it to Garrett. Two tough shots in a row for UNLV. Williams flying in. You warn him, now he gets up again. Okay, fine. You just don't like to see that in the game. Well, it swung the momentum. You had a bench. Well, there of the Lobo. McDonald. Hardiman. And one. Right now. Todd Willis. He's made everything. And he got fouled, and they didn't call it. And a lot of that was because they just teed the bench, and they weren't going to call a foul. But he got fouled. McDonald. This Belfield tough shot, Gordon there to clean up. Gary all the way for two. 
steal, Gordon. Williams will slow it down for the moment. Three ball. Willis curling free, short, jammed in. Marshall. Snell almost had it taken away by Willis. Gary wants to attack. Willis. Out to the side. Bellfield for three. Marshall guarding him. 11 on the shot clock. Gary thinking about it to Hardiman. He'll kick it back. Gary for three. Gordon there for the stick back. Cheer for UNLV. Gary, a little pick and roll there. Does it count? Yes, for Gordon. To lead from Bellfield. Garrett. Nice lead. And the putback good for him. If they get a good three, take it. But they got to get something going for the basket. Shot clock is off. Belfield. The C parted for him. And he sashays. Will try. Gary will trigger this time. And they do get it in. They're not going to let Gary get it back. It's Williams who has it. Under five to shoot. Gary Leaner stays off the rim. And we're headed for overtime. They let Kendall Williams handling the ball a lot and getting it to Gary as a two guard. And Gary. Willis has 25 for UNLV. Looking to add to it. Instead, the dump down to Thomas for the layup. Which one will come out on top and lead his team to victory tonight? Willis driving too strong. Thomas, another offensive rebound and the stick back. McDonald gets it back. Can't jam it home. Thomas able to keep it alive. Wow. Crafty move there. You can run the break, get it back, but not put it down. All right there. But, you know, they've been called both ways. Good. Willis and company. Going to work some time off the game clock and shot clock. Not too much as they had an opening, and it's Thomas down. For a couple of passes. Gary. Taking some time. They kick out corner three. Short. McDonald never really had it. Gets it back. Another try for three. That one too strong. And another one down to the wire that goes.